Candidate Hillary Clinton may not be able to reverse her opposition to the Trans-Pacific Partnership, even if she wanted to. Excuse me. Excuse me. At the Democratic National Convention, TPP was a lightning rod for delegates representing working-class voters, part of the party's traditional base. They say the agreement favors corporations over workers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just days earlier, America's top Democrat, President Barack Obama, explained why TPP will not be a repeat of NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement that many Americans blame for the loss of jobs and stagnant wages. A number of the provisions uh, inside of the Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, address some previous criticisms of NAFTA and uh, will make what is already an extraordinarily strong economic relationship between our two countries even stronger. Hillary Clinton helped negotiate TPP, then changed her mind. So are you saying that as of today, this is not something you could support? What I know about it as of today, um, I am not uh, in favor uh, of what I have learned about it. Republican candidate Donald Trump is trying to appeal to disaffected Democrats by vowing to stop the deal. I am going to withdraw the United States from the trans Pacific Partnership, which has not yet been ratified. A lot is at stake. The 12 Pacific Rim nations that signed TPP in February boast a combined economic output of around $28 trillion. That's roughly 40 percent of the entire planet's output and a third of world trade. Thank you. Thank you. But the focus of working-class Americans is more local than global. If they believe TPP threatens their jobs, they'll vote for any candidate opposing it. Labor unions and environmentalists are among the 1,500 domestic groups that have called on the U.S. Congress to reject TPP. But with both major party candidates saying they won't support it, the partnership could dissolve before it ever takes effect. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.